If you're writing a novel, a guide, or any type of long-form content, ebooks are a fantastic way to share your work across many platforms and devices. And if you plan on publishing your own ebook, then you're definitely going to need a great cover to go along with it. Luckily, there are some helpful tools you can use to create your own ebook cover for free. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Lucas here from Snappa, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to design an ebook cover using free customizable templates. Let's get right into it. To make things easy, we're going to be using Snappa to design our ebook cover. It only takes a few seconds to make a free account, and then you can scroll through our template sizes and click ebook cover. The recommended dimensions are already built in, but it's super easy to resize your graphic if needed. You can then scroll through our list of design templates and choose a cover that works best for you. All of our templates are fully customizable, so even if you like a design that doesn't match the theme of your book, you can always repurpose it to suit your needs. Just click on a template to get started. Now that my canvas is open, I'm going to double click the text box to add in the title of my book. Once I type that in, I'm then going to navigate over to the toolbar on the left to change the color of the text. Now I can click on the square shape and change the color to black to really make that text pop. The next thing I want to do is add a short description of my book under the main title. So I'm going to copy and paste the text box, then I'm going to drag it down to reposition it, and head to the toolbar on the left to shrink the text size. Now I can quickly type in my book description. After some repositioning, I'm going to click the rectangle shape at the bottom and change that to black as well. I can then double click the text box and add in my author name. If I use the drop down menu to the left, I can also change the font of my text. Snappa has over 180 fonts that you can use for your designs. The next thing I want to do is click on the square border and drag down its corners to shrink its size. I can also navigate to the toolbar on the left to make the square border a little bit thicker. Now I can click on the background tab to change the background image of my ebook cover. If I use the search bar, I can sort through a huge stock image library with tons of photos to use in my graphics. All I have to do is click on an image and it'll automatically add to my canvas. I also have the option to upload my own photos as well, along with using patterns and different colors for my graphics. Now that I'm finished designing, I'm going to click the pen icon at the top to rename my graphic. I'm also going to click the save button to avoid losing any progress. And then I can click the download button to download my graphic as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. And just like that, in a short amount of time, I was able to create my own ebook cover that is fully customizable. Here's another stunning template that is super easy to repurpose. But if I wanted to change the dimensions, I can click the resize button at the top and add in my new custom dimensions. After putting those in, I can click the resize button and choose to override the current graphic or open as a new one. And just like that, my new graphic size is ready to go. When you're designing, you should also check out the effects tab. You can use the different sliders to add cool effects or enhancements to your background images. Feel free to experiment and explore, playing around with the different sliders to see what works best for your graphic. If you're looking to customize your design further, you can always add icons to your ebook cover. If you head over to the Graphics tab and click Icons, you can then use the search bar to look through a huge library of icons that you can add to your graphic. Once you find something you like, all you have to do is click on it to add it to your canvas. You can then select it and change its color to customize it even further. Icons can be super useful if your ebook has a specific topic that you want to reflect in the cover design. Well, that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you can use Snappa to design your own ebook cover for free. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.